Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying the slightly chillier weather. It's starting to feel a little bit more like Christmas now. Where we live, we've got lots of people that put lights up on the houses, including in our close. So it's always really nice when you drive in and at night time and, and all the lights are lit. It's, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, um, yeah, I hope everybody's starting to feel a little bit Christmassy now. I've got a few thank yous uh, before we get into the show. The first one is to Rob Driscoll for last week's show. Obviously, it was great to see Rob, even though it was over the internet. Uh, it was lovely to see you, Rob. So thank you for doing that. So if you've not seen the show, Rob showed us how to create uh, a little Nutcracker character out of, I think it was about 10 modeling balloons. So Rob, thank you so much for doing that. And there will be more from Rob very, very soon, hopefully. Um, now the next thank you, it's a big, big thank you, a very special thank you to uh, a young man called William. Now William is six years old and he has sent me a piece of original artwork. Look at that. And his mum, Becky, she watches BMTV every week and William watches with her. So he's done a picture of me with a balloon and put my name on there. So William, thank you so much. This is normally on the wall behind my desk, but I took it down to show everybody here on BMTV. So thank you so much for watching BMTV. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for the artwork. It's wonderful. Uh, and the last thank you I have to say is to a number of you out there who have been getting into the spirit of things with jokes on your orders. So I think I mentioned a few weeks ago somebody had written a joke on the in the comments when you're placing your order where you normally say, if out, leave behind the shed or something like that. Um, people have been putting jokes. Um, as one of, we've been putting them on social media, taking a picture of them and putting them on Facebook or Instagram stories, I'm not sure where. Um, and they, they give everybody in the office a giggle. It's really, really nice. So thank you to everybody that's doing that. There have been one or two, um, should we say, naughty ones that we've not been able to put on social media. Um, but they, they still made everybody laugh. So thank you to everybody. However, there is one that made everybody laugh quite, quite heartily. And I was asking Eilis to read it out again this morning so I could remember it, so I could tell it now. And it's from a lady called Danielle. So Danielle, thank you so much for sending this joke. And here is the joke. What do you call a chicken looking at a lettuce? Chicken Caesar salad. Hey, <laughs> I love it, I love it. And there's probably people at home moaning, groaning about that, but I thought it was very good. Eilis couldn't even speak. She, she had trouble getting it out. She was giggling that much. So um, yes, thank you, Danielle, and everybody that has been leaving jokes um, on, our, on, our, on the orders. Um, if you do want to see those, I think, I say Facebook or Instagram, just follow us or do whatever you do with, with those and you will see hopefully more of them. Please, everybody, leave jokes. It it's, adds a little bit of, of joy and happiness. Now, let's talk about elves, shall we? Wow, what a season. Um, so many elves. We sold literally thousands and thousands of them. And it looks like some of you out there sold thousands and thousands of them as well. Um, it did make me laugh on Facebook, seeing quite a lot of people saying, that's the last time I'm doing that. I'm never doing elves again. Okay. <laughs> I will tell you. From experience, this is like childbirth. Not that I've given birth, but it's like childbirth. You will forget about the pain and next year will come around and you'll be like, oh, well, we did so well this year. We'll, we'll do it again. Uh, and that will happen. Um, we experienced it years ago when we first started the business on Valentine's Day. And we, I think it was our first Valentine's Day. Our daughter would have been just about a year old. And we were trying to manage her and do balloons. We did balloon in a box when we first started working from home, our, our old house, our old little house that we used to live in. I mean, it was a small house and we had loads and loads of Valentine's orders. Um, we basically worked through the day Worked through the night till six o'clock, went to bed for an hour and then got up and, and carried on doing it. So, and we did say, is it really worth doing it? Is it really worthwhile? Is it worth losing that one night of sleep? But um, really it was one night of sleep. Uh, we were a bit younger, if I'm honest. And um, yes, it was, it was definitely worth it. But the, the value I got from it, and you will have got from your elf experience, whatever that is, is the education, is the, is the feedback, is the knowledge you will have learned from doing this. And you might have learned that, yes, you might be absolutely adamant, I'm not going to do this ever again. 
Or you might think this design took a long time and I probably wasn't making money if I consider my time, so I'm not going to do that one. However, this design, the personalized foil one, went really well and we were able to charge a premium for it, so I'll do more of those. So it might change what you're offering or it might change your process or you might think actually they're air filled or well, the foil ones I can do days and days and days in advance and the, the big ones that you're putting in stuffing balloons maybe I won't do those quite as far in advance because they oxidize or maybe you think well if I can do them quicker using a stuffing machine maybe this is the year I invest in a stuffing machine so you'll have learned you'll have learned something you'll have got gained knowledge and educated yourself by going through this process but it is definitely one of the things I've been talking about a lot recently is pricing. Definitely worthwhile looking back at the show from a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago where we talked about pricing because that is absolutely key. You have to allow for your time. If you've not allowed for your time doing all of this, just think how many hours you've worked and how many, what you could have earned had you been working somewhere else for those hours. Take that off what you made and have you actually made any money? Who knows? Um, you might not have made any money at all. So it is worthwhile doing that. Definitely worthwhile doing that. Now, a few things I need to talk about before we get on to these bits and pieces. Is, um, we talked about Europe and delivering to Europe from here. Um, before Christmas and before Brexit kicks in on the 1st of January. Um, yes, you really want to get your order in if you are in Europe um, with us by tomorrow, Friday. So this is going out on Thursday. If you're watching it on the day of release, then yes, you will need to get your order in by Friday. Parcel Force are telling us Monday is the last day that they would take collections and say they are going to get there for Christmas and New Year. So might want to bear that in mind if you are in Europe. As a reminder, our Christmas opening hours, we are open on the 22nd and 23rd as normal. 24th, we're open until one o'clock on Christmas Eve. We're closed the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and then we're open as normal on the 29th and the 30th, and then again a half day on New Year's Eve till one o'clock. And then we are open, we're closed, and then we're open again and on the 4th of January. We'll be putting it up on the website. We'll be putting it out there on social media, but um, just another reminder right now, I have a big, big, big request from everybody out there. So we are currently in the middle of producing our, our Christmas video. Matt has come up with an amazing idea. If you've not seen last year's Christmas video, that was all Matt's idea as well. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, it was great fun um, and we had time out to be able to do it. But this year has been a bit different because we've been so busy and we've not really got the space to do the sort of thing that we did last year. So Matt has come up with a, a slightly different idea. It involves singing. Um, but you don't have to worry about singing. We have done the singing for you. Um, Jim that works here is a part of a band called Natives and they're a proper proper band. They, they toured the world for 10 years. They supported Busted, they supported Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, they did an album in Los Angeles. I mean they, they properly lived that rock and roll lifestyle. For, for 10 years and Jim is now working here. Anyway, he has said we are okay to use one of his songs and their song, it's um, a cover of the, the wizard, fantastic wizard song, I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day. So we've used that and then some of us here have, um, shall I say, performed um, in front of the camera and that is gonna form part of our Christmas show. However, we would like you to be involved as well. So what we need is little short videos, snippets of people having fun at Christmas time, wearing Christmas hats, wearing tinsel, doing something crazy. From any, wherever you are in the world, we would like you to do a video of yourself, your colleagues, your friends, your family, it can be outside, it can be inside, it can be at work, it can be at home, it can be on top of Haleakala if you're in Hawaii, it can be on Bondi Beach if you're in Sydney, where, where, anything, where, whatever, but just to create a little bit of joy and happiness. I think we've all, I think this year has been a difficult one um, to say the least for, for, for everybody. So what the whole purpose of it is really 
to create a little bit of joy and happiness. And that could come from you actually creating some videos or everybody watching the, the, um, the, the finished product. Now you don't need to speak in this. It's gonna be the music. There's gonna be little snippets all over multiple things on the screen at one time. But we just really want to have some of the people that, that have viewed BMTV for years. And even if you're a new viewer to BMTV, actually on the screen as well. So please, if you would like to contribute, do a video and email it to info at balloonmarket.co.uk. You probably won't be able to attach it, so you might want to use uh, something like WeTransfer, so you just use that as a file transfer program. Go to wetransfer.com probably, type it into Google, and you just enter your email address, our email address, and just move the file over, and they will send it to us. So yes, please, please, please. I'm asking people that have been on BMTV uh, previously as well. Really, we just want as many people. And you'll see some of the team as well, um, not just singing, but also um, having a bit of fun also. So um, yes, please, please, please. I would really, really appreciate your input. Right now, let's talk about a few products. So New Year is coming up, obviously, along with Christmas. And normally I'd say, get your orders in with your Christmas stock for New Year stock. And that still applies. Um, we are open between Christmas and New Year, but if you were to order on the 28th, would you necessarily get it by, by New Year's Eve? So um, please, please do order as far in advance. So I, I inflated a few balloons. So we've got a couple of great Qualitex ones here. I love this one with the rose gold, as well as the gold, the silver, the black, and the white, classic New Year colors. But I also like this one. This is, again, from Qualitex, but it's got all the, the multi-colors on there. And this one from Unique has got more bold dots on it, but with the classic silver and black. And then this one over here, I shouldn't have inflated because it's been discontinued, but we'd inflated it already. Oops. So we've still got about 10 left, I think. It's not that many, but I, I really like it. I'm not sure why it's been discontinued from Anagram, um, but as you can see, it's a, it's a multi-part balloon and it's just quite funky with gold, silver, white and black again. So sparkly sparkly this time so yes new year and a few more new year products here a few new, more balloons um got latex balloons here so we've got these ones that say happy new year from qualitex and we've got these ones that say best year yet I, i'll just leave those there maybe for another time um we've got this as well um i really like this because this year new year is probably going to be there's not going to be any big new year parties so it might just be you, family, your bubble, maybe grandparents or, or, or whatever. Um, and this has got four party hats, four headbands, four Hawaiian, lay, eight Hawaiian lays and eight squawkers, noisemakers. Um, so it's got that in there. It's by Unique. If you're a retailer, you could obviously sell that. If you are doing a big balloon decoration for delivery to somebody, you could have that as an add-on. Or you might want to use them yourself, depending on what you're doing. So, uh, yes, New Year, it is coming. Um, start thinking about the, the stock if you've not already. Now this, we've had these mosaic frames for a while, the normal size mosaic frames. This is a box, this is the guy that makes them, Nico. I'm going to guess that's Nico's wife. If it's not Nico, I do apologize. Um, and this actually isn't one in here. This is the one in here. And you can see this is a number one. Now this is one of the new larger ones. So the ones that we've had for a long time have been about that high. And these ones are 150 centimeters high. Well, I'm 180, so 150 would be up to there. So they're big, big um, frames. They're going so, so well. All, all of the frames are going really well, but the numbers and the letters are the ones that are going the, the, the best. Um, but they are absolutely just so popular. And a few, I'm guessing Valentine's Day, the hearts and things like that, they're going to be popular as well. But these big ones, I think, really do add even more impact than the, the, the ones, the, the normal size um, ones that have been selling for a while. Now, here we have paints. A, it might have been a couple of years ago, a year or two ago. Mark from Qualitex came in and he came up with the technique of putting paint inside a bubble balloon using a bit of a pipette kind of thing and it created some absolutely amazing effects. And I've seen a few, again, recently on, on Facebook or, or um, Instagram, I can't remember where, 
and it just reminded me about of, of these and so I um, I brought up some paints these the paints that we have sold they've now been discontinued by a manufacturer called Reeves and these ones are by um, Dale Rowney and anybody that's in the artwork knows that that's a really reputable brand they're acrylic paints they're water-based and they're absolutely perfect for putting inside um, balloons such as uh, Qualitex bubbles now I was in the warehouse the other day and I saw Miriam and she was picking one of these and I always forget how nice these are these are obviously artificial roses I always forget how nice they are if if you're to the untrained eye I think a couple of feet away and that looks like a real rose to me maybe maybe not quite the leaves and if you're a florist you're probably laughing at me now so um, you would obviously be able to see in an instant that that is not real however as part of a larger piece a larger installation I think you could definitely get away with that and obviously you probably wouldn't well you might want to use real roses um, but with thorns and things these thorns aren't quite as as sharp if you're using it for balloons so uh, yeah I said to Miriam hello Miriam by the way um, this uh, looked really nice and she said yeah somebody had ordered 20 or 30 of them so uh, I think they're ju just really great these artificial flowers that we are we keep extending the range of them you've got the bunch of the red ones slightly more open flowers but these come in a bunch it's all one piece but you can just snip them with a pair of scissors strong scissors um, and use those individually and we've got the white ones there and last but not least Easter <laughs> is happening already um, we've started to sell Easter stock as you will remember last year Easter didn't really happen because of Covid so we were selling quite a lot of Easter stock Covid happened at the end of March and April and that's it Easter didn't really really happen because the country closed down effectively so um, we have a lot of Easter stock already available um, to go out straight away so we're not just the new stuff that we would normally be waiting for so we've got quite a lot and some of you the savvy ones out there are getting your Easter stock in early so I've just brought a few balloons up a Qualtex bubble Qualtex foil and one from <coughs> excuse me one from Anagram and one from Grabo as well. The Easter bunny heads, they, they are like the elves of, of Easter. I mean, they, people just go crazy for, for those designs with these Easter bunny heads. And these, last year, people, well, the year before, people went crazy for, for these. Um, these are two that have been done, and this is how they come. So they're just made of MDF, and then you can decorate them, paint them, put bows on them, personalize them with names, as we've done here and this one's got a little hole in it you just put a little lollipop or something in there and these ones have got holes that fit perfectly a Cadbury cream egg other brands are available not just Cadbury I think are other brands available I think Mars do some don't they so um, yes the little eggs the little chocolate eggs would go in there but you can the thing about these you can personalize them and, and do however you, I mean this is just really simple we just painted them we didn't even paint the back um, painted them and just added the bow and added the name and, and that was it but you could put a face on there you could do whatever you like so I just wanted to show you those as well and they are available in the building right now that's it from me this week um, as I say please 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 we would love you to contribute to our Christmas video it really is just about creating a little bit of joy happiness silliness let's let's enjoy it um, and if you can contribute the, the sillier the crazier location whatever whatever it can be anything it can be you throwing balloons around it can be anything at all please please we would love to get you on screen on BMTV for Christmas right question of the week Today, the day of filming, the first vaccine was given to a lady called Maggie. And the second one was given to a guy called William Shakespeare, which is quite amusing. Um, not that he was getting the vaccine, but his name. And, um, well, it is good that he's getting the vaccine. Not amusing, but very, very good that here in the UK the vaccine is starting. So, is this the beginning of the end? Hopefully it is the beginning of the end of covid or it will allow us to manage and live with covid going forward so my question of the week to you is what are you going to do that you've not been able to do for the last year or so as soon as you can 
Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watch watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please do and hit the bell icon and you'll be the first to know of any BMTV uploads. Stay as safe as you possibly can. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks. Bye.